Definitely seen a lot of increased interest, I think, yes, in football. Yeah, have. Yeah. Especially yes. from even the little ones. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know. In Kelsey's jersey, off the <laughs> yep. Yep. Flying yep. Off, flying off Popular the guy. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it's going to be cool in the morning, and yep. then it's going to warm up. Yeah, but not too bad. I mean, it's not too unbearable. It's not the 90s. It's not a heat index in triple digits. But it is going to be warmer than this past weekend, which is absolutely gorgeous and felt like fall. So warmer and still dry. I know a lot of folks are saying I missed out on the last rain. I'd like some rain, Brian. Looks like we're going to have to do it ourselves for a while. And this upcoming weekend, more humid. That's about when we're going to start to feel the difference. But until then, this dry air mass is overhead in spite of a south wind. We're not really getting that much moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and that's really not going to change. The color code, if you see green, that's going to be, it's going to be a little more humid. Not necessarily there, but you notice this big bubble. That's reminiscent of a tropical storm. Could be a hurricane before too much longer going through the Gulf Coast, but it looks like most of that moisture is going to be just to the east and southeast of Kansas City. More on that later on during our newscast, but mostly clear skies, not much in the way of smoke or haze. 85 is the present temperature. This evening will drop to 77, mild. Later on tonight, we'll get all the way down to 56 degrees as we're talking with Laura and Kelly. And then in the afternoon tomorrow, 86, about like it is today, about that much warmer, but not much humidity to speak of. And a lot of sunshine continues across the area, region, that is. Exclusive first alert nine-day forecast. There you see the numbers again, outlined 50s in the morning, afternoon high of 86. Looking at the 12-hour breakdown, clear, 60s for rush hour. 10 o'clock, 71 degrees, continuing to stair step up. 83 by 2 p.m. By 4 o'clock, we'll be at 84, but still going to peak out at 86 in between hours with that south wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then on Wednesday, above normal, we should only stop at 82. We'll be at 88. Thursday, 86. Here come some clouds. Friday, back down to 80 degrees, but then we start another warming trend Saturday and Sunday. And we'll have to watch to see exactly which way what's left of that hurricane or right, right now a tropical storm will be moving. We could have to have to introduce a chance of rain, but right now we're keeping it dry. 85 as the Chiefs are back in town and then early next week, middle 80s for highs, morning temperatures in the 60s. So you notice it is a little above normal for this time of year. Unfortunately, again, for those who really would like some rainfall, it's really not coming in anytime soon. It's going to stay dry for a while. So feeling more like summer as we're going into this week. Other thing to keep in mind is we're monitoring that tropical system just in case. Fingers crossed for those who want the rain, then more humid conditions for everybody heading into this weekend.